We're torn between saving our house and saving our pigs. What are we going to do? Hi, we're Rob and Nick. Welcome to Running a Muck Off Grid, where we inspire you to live a life you love. A month ago, our container home looked like this. No walls, no resources to fix them. It's bugs, and it's flaming hot. And on top of that, we have two sows ready to give birth, needing to be separated from the rest of the drove, because we're really concerned these new piglets are going to be eaten. Do you think we can get this done before they give birth? I hope so. Let's go check on their progress. These are our two beautiful sows, Evie and Gertie. They share this large area with five other pigs, which is less than ideal. They're both about to give birth, so we need to get them moved out and fenced off from the other pigs. And the reason why is that the new piglets could be attacked by the rest of the drove, or even worse, killed. So we need to fence off another area for the sows to safely give birth, but even then, we're not sure whether sows could attack each other's litters. So we're quite concerned about this situation, and we're not even sure we're going to be able to get their homes finished in time for them to give birth. Oh no! And here's our other problem. Our pigs keep getting out, as you can see. So in addition to putting up new fencing, we need to fortify the current fencing to try and keep this crew in. Oh, and in you go, piggies. They're looking to go in. Hey, piggy pigs. Come on. Come on. Pig pigs. Still, Maggie. Maggie. This is Erdie Gertie. <laughs> She's named after the opera singer who refused to stop singing until she succeeded on Broadway. Gertie is very vocal. She is a stunning little pig and sweet to boot. And our plan is to keep her as a companion to our beautiful Evie. This is Gertie's first litter and she's also Eve's firstborn and she's a much loved member of our family. So we need to get these two girls separated from the rest of the drove. They're both due to farrow about the same time and we have several concerns. This is Gertie's very first litter and the father of the piglets is a larger breed. So we're hoping she's going to be able to pass them okay. The fact that we have to move her so close to giving birth could be quite stressful for her, so we're a bit concerned about that as well. And we have to build brand new fencing to keep them separated from the drove. So we're not really sure that we're going to be able to get all this done before the two sows give birth. So as you can see, we've got no wall to our house. Now we need to rebuild this and a lot of our timber on our property is termite ridden because it's been laid on the floor. So I don't want to introduce that into the house. I want to have beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, solid wood to build our new wall. And it is so hot here now, summertime. Oh, and did I mention, we found a rat's nest in our wall as well. Oh. Nice logs to go up each side and then a lintel to run all the way through. I'm gonna do an old fashioned mortise and tenon in these logs. Cut a nice flat edge so this frame sits in it beautifully. That's the plan. So I've gotta do a bit of measuring, a bit of thinking, head scratching, drink some coffee, sharpen the chainsaw and get into it. Okay, so what we got here is commonly known as a log. Originally from a gum tree that as you can see was diseased and deceased. We don't chop live trees down here. Anyway, so I'm using this as the log cabin wall. I've got a nice straight edge here, black wattle. I will screw this down into the wood and I'll run the chainsaw along here 
taking away part of the sapwood. Once I've done that nice and straight, I'll then put the wood over here, screw it down, cut this edge, making sure it's really nice and parallel. So the bottom and the top sit in plane together. Then cut off the sides, put an open mortise on there, which you'll see, which fits into a nice tongue that uh, we've put against the container wall. So let's just get into it. Wire brush to clean the edge off. Makes it look all nice and smooth and pretty. Look at that. So this is that uh, groove I'm talking about, why I've cut this open mortise out. Acts as a guide and also uh, keeps it in place. Snug as a bug in a rug, yeah. just like the Animal Tales farm kids after they've swam in the creek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm silicon and sealing any gaps that might appear when the log shrinks. So I cut these wedges and I place them into the mortise to lock the log into place. Now I see this whole wall problem as a perfect opportunity to realise one of my visions. I know it's a bit old fashioned and romantic, but it's to sit down on the veranda, my log cabin in the evening with my loved one and take back a nice glass of scotch. What do you think, Nana? I'm thinking, let's get the fencing up to keep the other pigs out and then build the second house so the sows can have a nest each. But I'm still hesitant to keep them in here together. But we don't have much choice. So we're using the existing trees for a quick fix. And we're using these U-Butte screw-in isolators for the first time to hold the electric tape. And so far, they seem pretty good and strong. They even come with a handy little drill attachment. Okay. And that makes this installation really easy. Thank goodness for that. And I'll pop a link in the description below where you can buy them on Amazon. These two girls are enjoying their last day of freedom in the big wide enclosure because for their own safety they'll be spending the next six or so weeks in this smaller nursery area. It's fully equipped with a day spa for a labour bath and a soon to be separate twin room plush accommodation with a 10,000 thread count bedding. <laughs> it really is important to us to see our animals happy. It gets quite hot here so the water wallow is really important especially now they won't have access to the creek down there with the other gigs and we have rain forecast as well so they need secure dry homes with soft bedding and the insulated roof panels to deflect from the summer heat okay fence is up now to build a second motel room they look pretty satisfied with that let's check on the little escapees yep all in and let's hope it stays that way until we can get time to reinforce their fencing. Well, they're staying out of the girls' new area, so that's good. They're happy and comfortable. They've got access to the creek down there and as the saying goes, they're happy as a pig in mud. Okay, we have the second birthing suite erected. So Eve and Gertie can choose separate quarters and enjoy a peaceful birthing process. I'm so glad we were able to get this set up for them in time. The fence is working well to keep the little rogues separated. Yes. Yeah. Eve's ready to go today. She's 
been nesting. She's stolen all of Ertie Gertie's hay. So I've got another load here for her on the quad. Let's go have a look. There's plenty of hay here. This is Ertie Gertie. She is a stunning pig, aren't you Ertie Gertie? And here's Evie. Hey Evie. Can you have some babies today? You've made a beautiful nest. Yes, Volva's definitely ready to go and plenty of milk there. Hey, Evie. I'm going to put it in that side. She can take it and arrange it in there as she sees fit. I'm going to hop her up. She's a bit <laughs> Get out of my space. Getting ready for her babies here. Look, there she goes. She's got it. To her nest. Here we go. We'll make sure you've got enough, enough too, mate. Don't worry. You right, Evie? Hey. Good girl. Look at that. Utter. Plenty of milk in there. Have you been swimming? That's nice. Hey, buddy. Been swimming too. Okay. Hey. Well, Ertie Gertie's not doing any nesting, but Eve has created a nest fit for a queen, which tells us that she is within hours of giving birth. She's got her insulated roof there. Happy pigs. And all inside the fence. Hooray. Just watching their behavior tells us a lot. Gertie's eating her hay while Eve's busy collecting nesting materials. So Eve from previous experience is definitely within hours of giving birth. She's busy, busy. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful nest. There you go. What's that? Beautiful. You're going to learn from mum, are you? How to build a nest. Hello, little one. Hello. It's going to be interesting when Eve's had her litter and Ertie's about to have hers. How that will work. Whether they'll separate into the two compartments or whether they'll both go. Gertie Gertie's obviously not ready to start nesting yet. So, let's check back in an hour or so. Gertie Gertie's watching and learning. And Eve's still busy, busy, busy. She's definitely got plenty of milk. Let's let her build and check back first thing in the morning and I'm sure we'll be in for a nice surprise. These glass frames that were here on the property when we arrived, we've decided to put one each side. I think these will look fantastic, don't you? My heart starts beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. That was so satisfying. Was it, babe? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Nick did an amazing job. I think they're going to look great. We made a lovely window frame for them to bring some, well, try to bring some symmetry to the house. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. in there. I've got one more log to go on there, which you'll see, and I'm going to infill in this side. So the thing is, I can do it the easy way or I can do it the right way. This side, as you can see, there's a gap. Get it level, there's a small gap. I could take this off and all of this will then fit, or well, the window frame would then fit in there. But I would have gaps here, here and here. 
Yes, I can fill them with brown silicon and wedge them, but I know it won't be right. Expansion's not gonna happen this way. Expansion's gonna happen this way. So if I get these all plumb and true, see how it's going out there? I know that I'll be a happy boy and the job will be done right. So it's all nice and level here now. Mark that in that area. This one as well. Better. Now it's just this side to do. It's so important to align the logs as they are so short, they would stand out like a dog's hind leg if we didn't get them right. Time is really against us here, so we're gonna have to really knuckle down and finish this side of the wall. We still have to make it right though. After fitting this beautiful window, we fixed it with silicon sealant. And we used 50 mil wood screws, just for the extra hold. I didn't have small enough drill bit, so I'm using an old trick passed down to me that is to use the pin nail to pre-drill the hole, as not to split the bead. If you've ever tried just nailing the pin straight away, you'll probably know what I mean. Let us know down below if this has ever happened to you. Right, time to fit the beading. The beading is a decorative piece of timber that holds the glass in or stops it from falling out. So the time has finally come to take this out and put the glass in. It's only taken me two weeks for other stuff going on. Let's get into it. Side. Those are uh, three are just wedges till the, the glue on the beat goes off. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, and if you're wondering, no, I didn't get all walls done. I had to call in reinforcements. My dad. Pretty good. Can you see what I see? I see a pumpkin. Now, I think it's time we checked on the sows, even early, and take the dogs for a swim. You coming? All's quiet on the home front. Hey, piggy wigs. She sounds like she's feeding babies. Oh, ah, she is! Ah, oh, six! Oh my goodness! Good girl, Evie. 
They're still sorting out their teeth they want, aren't they? Okay. You're a good mum, Edie. Look at that nest. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. They've just been born, though. Yeah. They're still with eyes closed. Yeah. They haven't even latched on yet. Oh, what a shame we missed it. Well, I appreciate it can do it in privacy. Female, female. Male, male. Well done, Evie. No more help, though. Yeah, yeah. No confirmation. Yeah, yeah. This little pinky one, isn't it? The throwback from the saddlebag, like that yeah. pink and black one. It's amazing the instinct. Yeah. See those two in the middle there, the black one and the pure pink one, yeah. both male. I think the rest are all female. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And how are you doing? You see that? How are you doing? You need some nest, don't you? We need to go and get some. Yeah. She's looking to nest too. Yeah. There you go, Gertie. Some more bedding for you. What do you reckon, Tilly? The fence is keeping those rogues out. Well, we have six healthy piglets, but Gertie's still not showing any signs of farrowing, which is concerning because the two sows were serviced at the same time. What's going on, Gertie? Hey? Are you nearly ready to go? Are you okay? Good girl. It's okay. She has plenty of nesting materials, but right now, all we have is an empty nest. Hit the playlist! Go get a wine! Get some chips! Hit the playlist! Binge watch! Binge watch! Don't watch that one! <laughs> no! No! Playlist! Playlist! Hit the fucking playlist! <laughs> if you like this video, you're gonna love this one!